Hello guys, today we are doing The Forest. So, hope you guys are ready. Uh, I gotta stretch. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna be going for a run through the forest. So, let's get to it. Now, uh, first thing first, you don't want the camera. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, how's it going? Alright, so we get rid of that. And we're going to get going. So if you don't know, the forest is actually through the bandit camps. And, uh, huh, should I put a tutorial on how to do that? Eh, you guys will probably know the bandit camps. It's basically instead of going towards town, you go away from town. Hey, there's a tower. But there's also a tower in that direction. So I think I'm going to do the towers next. But that looks like it's a different tower, unless that's the same tower and you just go a long ways that way. I don't know. We'll see. Later. For now, we're going to go this way. We'll probably do a tower video later. I have still only made it to the second uh, waypoint on the towers because my movement is limited in my area. And I feel like that's no good for the towers, for the climbing but we are going to go through here and hopefully not die. And right away there's a red plant blocking our way. So, hmm, we could go around it. That would be my first suggestion. Although I'm going to suggest to go right past it. Okay, I'm not going to suggest that, but we're going to do that. Look at that, it didn't go off. How about them apples? And right away, we're going uphill. Okay, that's interesting. Normally, it opens up with the last few that I've seen. This is the first one I've seen that goes up straight away. Those flowers, if you can kill them, you want to kill them because they will grow into the tall ones. And the tall ones are no good. Alright. Oh, we got another red one. And... I will say this is probably one of the easiest. Okay, I take that back. It was one of the easiest start offs until we saw three flowers. Oh, and there's another one. Ah, there's our clearing. So normally this you would walk into before going uphill, but I guess in this one it decided to put us uphill before going into a clearing like this. Interesting. I like going up, just because I like to be higher up. It looks kind of cooler from higher up. So we're going to keep going up. And the forest will be updated every once in a while. It will be regenerated, and it's always randomized. Procedurally generated, so you never will have a specific area look exactly the same intentionally. If it does, it's luck. I like that area though. Because I hear water, and water makes forests so much cooler. Got the deer out here. They're very fast and run away real fast. So, unless you're fast as well, you kind of have to use a bow or just chase them and hope you catch them and get a hit in every once in a while and kill a deer every hour. It's definitely a skill thing. Alright, so the forest, as you can see, I am just running. You will not always be able to just run, and I might actually die in here. But, this is kind of how you deal with the beginning areas. And I want to explain the guys. So those guys are the normal guys. This guy is one of the first different guys we have. I don't remember what this one does. Is this guy the shotgun guy, or is he the rapid fire? This guy's a rapid fire. Okay, so multi horn is rapid fire. I don't remember what they're called. Mushroom heads are shotgun guys. There's an area down there. Wait, I'm going this way first, just because I feel like there might be a mine down here. All right. So there's ores here. You can get ores here. Oh, I don't like that. If we see the really tall guys, then we're not going. Like that guy, 
No, we're not going this way. You see him over there? Super tall? Redwood? Yeah, we're not dealing with those guys. Because those guys can slow you down. And they hurt a lot. And you combine those two aspects. Yeah, it's no good. Now, another thing is they added weight in this game. So now, you don't want to overburden yourself with weight. This shouldn't overburden me. But let's say you have like six pickaxes on you and... Oh, hey buddy. That scared me. Oh, that thing attacked me from underground, which means there is a red flower underground. Or something. I would assume it's a red flower. It looks like what a red flower does. Either way, we're going to get out of here. Oh, and we're going by rapid fire. Hey bud, how's it going? No biggie, just passing through. I think rapid fire is the ash trees. As you can see, there's an ash tree there. Um, tall ones are redwoods. I don't know what the mushroom dudes are. Ah, and you can find terabattas out here. Which I think means that there's a terabata thing out here. There's these, uh, places that you can blow up that have a bunch of terabattas trapped in them. Is this where we came from? I believe so. Um. Yeah, looks like it. So whatever this tree is, is what those mushroom dudes are. These guys shoot shotgun shots, so they shoot like that. Oof. Ah. Oh, look at that. See what I said? Water always looks the coolest. You got your bridges. Obviously the water. I'm curious what that is in the distance there. Oh, that's a little camp. Okay. So you'll find miniature bandit camps out here. They sometimes have stuff. They probably will in this forest because it looks like this forest hasn't been touched that much. Is this not a path? It looks like a path. I'm gonna make it a path by going up it still. You can tell by the geometry of the ground whether or not you'll be able to go up it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that technically wasn't a path. Although it looked like one. So I just skipped a bunch. But that's okay. We got a miniature bandit camp over here too. This is one of the bigger ones actually. So they've given shovels a use in this game. You can dig stuff. Looks like someone's been here or the chest just started out open. No, someone's been here. This has probably already been looted. We're just going to keep going because there's a lot of guys at these. Now if you're farming those guys, this is a good place to do it. But I'm not farming those guys. I am exploring with you guys. And showing you how to survive exploring this area. There are wells up here. There is the birch trees and the birch tree guys. I don't know if they do anything special compared to the other guys. Oh wow, this area is really flat. I swear I heard him. Yep, he's up here. There he is. I don't think these guys are naturally angry. There's another bandit camp. And there's a, a, a tall boy. If we want to die, then we'll go towards him, but we don't. Yeah, sometimes these guys are naturally safe. Or, you know, nice. I don't know if they're ever naturally not nice. I think it might just be players upset them. Wow. So this is a death trap. This here, yeah, you go in here, you're gonna die. Guaranteed. Because those guys, their shots will slow you down so much, there's no escape. So yeah, I don't know where the tower went. The sun is setting over there though, which means it rose over there, which means it's still in that direction. So I do have my bearings. 
as to where I'm at. But, I don't know. Yeah, so that's Redwood Force. That's why those guys are there. Here's another hog down here. Hey, buddy. I thought I just came from there. Maybe you just spawned. Hello. I'm pretty sure those guys are peaceful. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's a way to the tower from the forest. But if there is, I don't know it. So, I mean, I guess no one would because the forest is procedurally generated. But, I do know how to get to it from town. So, I think that we are good. We've explored enough of this. Let me just show you how to juke these guys real quick. And I hear the wind. Hopefully that doesn't mean that the spirits are spawning over here. We're just going to juke these guys for a little bit. Show you that it's not too hard as long as you keep moving. That's always been the thing. You cannot stop to collect unless you fight everything. And if you've been like having a bunch of guys collect up behind you, then... Yeah, like that area, I could not stop in there if I found something. Which makes it fun to explore, but also gives you the challenge if you have something over there that you want. Womp. Oh, yes. To town. So, I've seen this before. I've only seen this once before, or twice before. There is a sign to town, which means that there is an area that leads out of the forest. Which I have my own pin foil hat theories about. And this is why I like light. So those are not how I want to hold those. Okay, we need to get away from these guys. See what I mean? It's hard to stop when you have so many guys. Oh wow, okay. This goes a lot farther than I was expecting. Uh, the force is pretty big, and that flower didn't go off. I am so glad. That flower hasn't gone off yet. I am so glad. Alright. There we go. Double click to hold it. This area is nice and flat. Oh wow, hi guys. All right, so we're gonna go this way because I have a tinfoil hat theory about a place out here. And I want you guys to uh, speculate on it. For those of you that are experienced and just watch this because you can. That is how you save yourself from falling if you're falling a short distance. I've learned the trick is if you're not moving when you start the fall, then you can teleport. But if you're moving when you start falling, so like if I run off a cliff and then I keep holding movement, ah yes, out here, then I can't do it. But if you do it and then as soon as you leave the cliff you stop moving, you can teleport. So town is that way and if you come off the map and over to the left side, there's this area over here, right? And if I see it again, that's going to kind of confirm my theory. It's just over this little hill right here. My theory is that they're going to put something here. Is it confirmed? It is. Look at this. And me knowing this, being the first time that I've generated this area, that there was a path that led out here confirms my theory this path no matter what the generation is exists it will always exist I don't know if that's their way of keeping this side of the map down or what but yeah it's always coming out in this specific location right here on the other side of this little hill here which means they gotta put something here, right? Is this where they're gonna put the houses? I don't know. The end of the world's over there. 
But that is my theory. They're going to put something here. As to what, I have no idea. I can only speculate. But what do you guys think? Let me know. We are actually going to show off some of the other things that go on, like the flowers and stuff. Um, this recording lost its audio, so I'm going to do a voiceover for it. So, um, yeah, this is a different force on a different save or a different world, a different server. So, I mean, I guess that's a different save. It's not a personal save of mine. It's just a different public server. Um, but yeah, on this one, I actually have some gear. We uh, have swords on this save. So I wanted to show you what to do if you have weapons and you can handle something. So I'm dual wielding. I don't know if, uh, you know, the custom swords that are double handed would be better. But I'm dual wielding two katanas. And, uh, yeah, this is what I've found works pretty good so far. Like I said, there's probably better weapons, but this is what I got. So, I don't know. Um, these flowers, they will grow. The ones with the green stems will grow into taller ones, which actually spread more flowers. But you can see, I can mow it up pretty quick. It puts out a cloud of red smoke that kills or poisons me. Once I get out of it, I'll be fine. But, yeah, those those flowers you want to kill before they can grow. Um, if they grow, then they can spread more, and then they can make it really hard to move through the forest. And there's a regular one. These regular ones kind of do the same thing as those ones for now. They don't grow, but they will do that smoke thing, and they'll actually... Uh, shoot some shoots at you so uh, yeah we're gonna head this way and let's go so you can see it shoots the shoots at you which do initial damage and then the red cloud does even more damage and uh, we don't have any type of armor yet but uh, there used to be armor in the game, but they took it out because it broke with one of the updates a while ago. Uh, this was before I even played, so I can't even tell you how that experience was. But uh, yeah, you can see this force is much more variety, I guess you could say. There's a lot more lower section, a lot more higher section. Um... And we got water right there, right at the beginning, which I love the water. And these things will hide anywhere. You can find them in the tall grass. You can find them in bushes. Um, sometimes they'll be underground. But let's just kind of clear up this pathway here. And I want to go for both of them. Alright, so this is a dangerous situation I was talking about before, especially because that guy's there. Now that first cloud's gone, I can go this way, but until that first cloud is gone, I'm stuck between them. And if they're close enough, then there is no space between them. And that can actually kill you pretty easily. So you can see I am really low. Oof. That brought me way down. But I will survive because I am just amazing like that, right? Totally. Yeah. Definitely not searching around in panic to make sure nothing else is watching me. There are four flowers here, which can be very dangerous. So as you see, I'll attack one and then back up. This is a kind of tactic you have to have when you come across these guys. When you have multiple flowers like this, you have to attack them one at a time. Um... So you can see I backed up, let my health regen, and went at it again. These guys, they're able to shoot those shoots, and there's three of them there. You can see that. I don't know if the smoke stacks the damage, but those shoots get that initial damage on me. Um, but as far as the smoke stacking, I have no knowledge on that. I just know that those guys hurt a lot. There's a good chance that it does stack, though. Because there are those two flowers there. I also don't know if the 
stemmed flowers do more damage than the regular ones, but uh, it definitely seems like it. Yeah, it, it seems like it, because those don't have initial damage and they are about the same. So yeah. Then you just wait for the smoke to clear. Don't move too quick like I am. I'm being way too eager. But now that it's gone, I can keep going. And that's kind of how you want to deal with that. Now thorns used to work in one way, but changed how they work. So as you will see, I started going in here thinking, okay, if I stop moving, then this will stop damaging me. But no, that hurt me a lot. <laughs> you can see how fast that hurt me. Don't go into thorns. Uh, that's what I learned. Hard way to learn. Um, it used to be you go in and it'll hurt you a bit until you stand still. And like the more you moved, the more it hurt. But now it's just going to hurt you no matter what. So you can see I could have easily died there. I'm surprised I didn't. But yeah, you just kind of want to avoid those. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bug that they have to fix. We will see in the future how that turns out. But for now, just don't go into them. And right here is really convenient. There will be spots where it cuts off where you can enter. But yeah, I just went in here to test it again. You can see I'm standing still and it's still going down. Although not as bad. I think the deeper you are into it, the more of them touch you. Um... Yeah, just don't go into the thorns. <laughs> That's all I can say. So you can see I'm just going to go around them for now. Normally, it'll be more detrimental where it blocks you off at. But there was not a big deal. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's two hits with the sword. So one hit per sword. I'm going to try it double-handed and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, no, it, it still takes two hits. So... It's just better to dual wield. Um, maybe with a bigger weapon it would make a difference. But with these it doesn't seem to make any difference. And there's not much. It looks like it's been raided. But that's okay. I mean that's not really what we're here for. So sometimes you'll find chests like that. Sometimes they'll be better. As you can see up here we have a flower that's grown. And, uh, yeah, these guys are very nasty. Very, very nasty. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go towards it. But, yeah, we're going to, hmm. Yeah, let's go towards it. We're going to see if we can even get hits on it. Uh, chances are we won't do much to it. Oh, and there we go. So, you saw there it shot a spore out the side of it. And the smoke is out there before we even touched it. Um, its range is actually pretty far. So, those guys are a little bit harder to get around. And the fact that they spread themselves out is just ten times worse. So, yeah, if you can, a bow would be the way to go, but... You know, that's not always the case. As I clear this area out, it'll be easier to show you guys. There's this bag thing here. So this thing, you have to shoot with a bow, I believe. I don't know. I've only seen this this once, so that would be my guess. I can't reach out the swords. I threw the swords at it. It didn't do anything. Um... So yeah, I'm assuming you have to shoot it with a bow. If that's not the case, then I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I'm 90% sure that's what you gotta do. But uh, yeah, for me, that's not something that I was able to do. I have no idea what's inside of it. It could be totally randomized, I'm not sure. So as you can see up here, we have a bandit camp tower. With a lot of deer here. I'm going to swing at some of them. But there were a ton of deer there. And these things are kind of difficult to get up. you got to teleport up somehow. I don't know how. 
Unless they added the climbing to the ladders, but I don't think they have. Um, but you can see, you kind of have to teleport onto it. And it's difficult. So, yeah, you just got to kind of shoot for a spot somewhere on the ladder. And then shoot for the platform up above. And that's how you do that. Now, the chest wouldn't stay open because there is a bar behind it. One of the railings. It took me a second to realize that. But you can see I can hold it open. We got stuff in here. First thing I grab is this blade here. I'm going to put that back for now. Because there's a page in here for a recipe, right? Now, once you grab these pages, you just kind of throw it away from you. And I, I really don't know what this one is for, but you just throw it away. It goes into your Tome of Knowledge, or whatever you want to call it. That's what I think it's called. Sure, why not? And then, uh, yeah, you can see in here we got some other stuff. Just peek my head into this. We got 12 kunai blades. I believe that's what they're for. We got half of a... Uh, Sword blade, half another sword blade, some arrows, and some flint. So I'm going to eat one of these venison. I wanted to show you guys while I hunted down a deer how much it sped you up. But uh, we don't really have any down here. I was hoping for some down in this clearing. So we're just going to eat this up. And uh, you guys will see. It feels quite a bit of hunger. Not as much as the other meat does. But it's not too bad. And uh, you'll see I move a lot faster and I glow. And yeah, we can actually chase deer. Maybe not keep up still, but I also have a quite heavy inventory, so I'm staying up closer to them, you know. These ones seem a little bit faster, the ones with the antlers. But if we attack this one, he's going to run away, of course. Come here, guy. Come here. Deer can fly, too. Yeah, you can see I can barely keep up with those little ones. But the big ones? Nope. Okay, we're just going to go for this thing again. So, oh, there's one of the flowers that sprouted off. So you can see... Oh, it, it died a lot easier this time. Last time I tried using a bow and it just wouldn't die. Might have been a bug. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they're really hard to kill without these swords. Maybe my setup last time was just really terrible. I have no idea. Alright guys, so that is the forest. Next episode, I'm not sure if we're going to do the leathermans, the mines, or... I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I might even do a climbing video. Nah, I'll, I'll put that one off. I gotta progress through that a little bit more anyways. But uh, yeah, that was the forest. So let's go through it again. We have the flowers. Regular red ones just cast off a smoke when you walk over them. And they shoot you with their thorn things. There are the thorn things that are just randomly littered through the forest. As you saw the one attacking the chicken. There are the flowers with the green stems, which will grow up. And when they do grow up, not only are they harder to kill, they can hit or they notice you from a farther distance. And they will spread more of themselves, which can grow and spread more. So you want to kill those as fast as you can. The other red ones aren't as detrimental because they can't spread. But, you know, you, you want to kill them all anyways because they're in your way. Um, the wood guys, there is the regular ones, the birch ones, which I don't know if they have any special effects. Um, the rapid fire guys with the multi horns, the shotgun guys with the mushroom looking heads, and the really tall redwood guys that you do not want to mess with because they can shoot fast, they slow you down a lot, and they will kill you. Especially if you have nine like at that one camp. Uh, bring food. Don't forget your teleport potions because it'll be much easier to get out of a situation. And don't overburden yourself. Maybe bring a pickaxe. Maybe bring light. That's all up to you. And above all, have fun and enjoy the game. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye bye.